Welcome to Spring Hill High School. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to help you get registered for your classes. Um, don't worry. It's not as bad as it feels right now. Um, just get involved in things when you get here and just do your best and pay attention and you'll be fine. What is a credit? Okay, so a credit, you basically you get a credit for every class that you pass per year. And then if you pass that class, then you have that one credit for that class and you're just kind of, ooh, you're over it. And, 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 you, and you need to make a seven year above to get a credit and you don't, you got to retake it, your class. All right, so if you don't pass with a 70 or above, you don't get a credit? Is that what you're saying? No, you don't get a credit. No All right, credits. so make sure you earn your credits. Graduate, you have to have 22 credits, and a lot of them have to be in certain like classes, and you'll learn more about those later. Hey, this is Mr. Glenn here at Spring Hill High School. Hey, off to the right, you'll notice a list of Tennessee graduation requirements. To graduate in the state of Tennessee, you'll have to meet all of these here but don't worry about too many of these next slide we'll talk to you about what you as a freshman need to take the classes that freshmen are required to take is english math social studies physical science wellness and then you have some electives of your choice here are some things that you as a student might like to know coming into high school um, one of the things I wish I would have known is I wish I would have known how serious my attendance and my grades and everything was because I didn't realize that now is whenever it all counts. If you don't do good now, then you're going to have to work harder in the future to do better. Something I wish I would have known is your attendance really does make a difference because you can get exempt from your midterms and your exams and stuff like that. So you just need to make sure that you come to school prepared so you can get exempt from those exams. Um, make sure to keep your grades up if you're playing sports because you don't want to not play because you got low grades in all your classes. One thing I, I learned along the way is that like you have to work really hard to try to get your grades to be pretty good because some of your grades will flip-flop from what you were good at versus what you're good at now. They're not always the same, so you have to work pretty hard to, to get a good grade sometimes.